doors are not getting discouraged that you'll find someone for you so you have the four swords the strength the nine of pentacles these three cards right here are all a it says it right this is all about how trying to get to know somebody didn't necessarily work out but what i really like about this even though it didn't work out is that you taurus are not giving up right the four swords things may be over between you and the person that you were trying to talk to but the strength represents obviously showing strength right showing courage even though things may may appear to look like you know all hope is lost and you'll never find anybody you realize that that's not true so the nine of pentacles is about you still have a life to live you still live a, va a very valuable one so you're not really getting discouraged right so it's just a matter of when and where right so you're definitely going to talk to other people the five of pentacles and the justice is about again this the five of pentacles and the justice is pretty much all about how you taurus are uh you know walking away from that situation with the last person that you were trying to get to know without any kind of hard feelings you know if the person the the justice if the person treated you well good for them you know they'll probably find someone that's more suited for them if they didn't and they were very disrespectful it usually ends up the same exact way for those people because they don't know how to pick right they don't know how to actually choose to be in relationships with people very long term who actually mean them good right they usually in long-term relationships with people who are very dysfunctional just like them so they're going to get everything that they deserve when they enter into that dysfunctional relationship that they want to find so much. But the Hierophant representing you, Taurus, so you showed up in your own reading, right? The Seven of Wands and the Emperor, this is, again, this is about how it is that you, you, um, you pretty much, you, uh, sorry, you, Taurus, pretty much understand your own value, okay? Uh, you realize that there's nothing to really be so upset about. So a lot of you Taurus are just not upset about it. The Seven of Wands and the Emperor is about how it is that you Taurus tend to really realize that the best is yet to come, right? So the Seven of Wands and the Emperor is about just that, okay? The Seven of Wands is about how you're in a, you're in a particular situation where... Um, you you're really uh how do i say this right the seven of wands and the emperor is really about how um it doesn't matter how much hard work you have to go through right you will continue to get to know other people right um you're not allowing yourselves to get burnt out the emperor represents and you should you should never feel that you are burnt out right not for a very long time anyway the emperor just represents the amount of patience that you taurus are willing to um utilize and like it is i said before it, you know it started off the way that it started off but this really this reading is really not that terrible because even though you taurus may be single right right around now i'm not saying that you're going to be single forever and a lot of you Taurus are very much so uh, patient, you know, and, and you know what it is that they say, patience is a virtue, right? A virtue is a skill. So if you keep getting to know other people, you will, could potentially meet someone that could be for you, right? It's like I said, it's just a matter of numbers, right? When you get to know so many people, that's when you get to the right one. The Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups is about how, and also, you know, be fulfilled as well you know not just uh, as far as financially you know two two bags are better than one you know <laughs> but also emotional right ace of cups emotionally secure as well so again it's just a matter of the t the quality of the relationship that it is that you Taurus are looking for and how it is that you're not allowing yourselves to get discouraged from finding it which is great so let's clarify some of these cards Let's clarify the justice. Let's clarify the justice. Okay. 
So to clarify, you have the Four of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, excuse me, Four of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the King of Wands. And last but not least, you have the Nine of Cups. So for you Taurus, this is just, like I said, this is just merely a decision, right? If you Taurus decide to commit and you, and you stay devoted to finding someone that's good for you, a lot of you Taurus will be on that path of actually finding them. You probably are already on it, right? It's just that, like I said, it's just a matter of numbers. The majority of people are out here playing games. That's what's trendy. That's what's out. That's what's chic now. So it's a matter of numbers. If you get to know enough people, right, um, around, right, and you, you look around, right, and, you're, and if you have an open mind, now it just depends on what it is that you're looking for. But if you have a particular open mind, you should be able to find somebody. Now, the King of Wands and the Knight of Cups represents, it may not necessarily, some of it may not, some of the people that you may end up being a very good match to may not even necessarily be people that you would have thought you would have been a good match with. So this is another thing that you Taurus really have to watch out for. Understand that sometimes matching, right? And I'm not talking about the website, but matching, making a good match or good chemistry with somebody, something that works, may not even necessarily be somebody that you would have thought would have worked. So let's cl <laughs> let's clarify some of these cards. Do you know what that means whenever it is that someone says this person was not necessarily my type? You know what it is that they're trying to say, but they're with that person? Because I've heard of couples say that to me. It was like, this person was not my type. Both of them said that about the other person. You know what that's, you know, the, you know what it is that they're saying? You know what it says? It says that they realized that what it is that they were picking is very dysfunctional. So they realized that they had to choose something else that isn't normally their type. Yeah, they're right. Let's clarify the emperor. Yeah, they're right. <laughs> you know? So... This is what it is those cards was talking about. And then to clarify the emperor, you have the six of wands, you have the six of cups, right? The two of wands, and then you have the two of cups. You're gonna have, like I said, this makes you very attractive because when you move forward and it's not like, you know, crazy hard feelings or whatever the case may be, people are gonna wanna come back because you're not taking it so personally, right? Like you're not, calling the person you're not annoying them you're not trying to blame them for the relationship not working out you Taurus are just going on about your way and like I said the seven of cups that's very attractive to a lot of people because a lot of people do not want to leave a relationship and then the person is talking about how they're not worth this and they're not worth that right so let's clarify the ace of cups and get out of here <laughs> So let's clarify the Ace of Cups. So you have the Emperor, the Seven of Cups, the Strength, and then you have the Page of Pentacles. So like it is I was saying, right? The Emperor, the Seven of Cups, this is pretty much all about, and then you already have the Emperor. So a lot of Libra influence, a lot of Aries influence, right? You showed up, right? A lot of Leo influence. So. The Emperor and the Seven of Cups is all about that abundance mindset in the sense that you realize that there's more people to talk to, which is correct, you know? So a lot of you Taurus are not really looking at it like just because this thing didn't work out with this person that you would never find anybody. The strength, which you already had as, as well, and the Page of Pentacles represents how um, uh, you would have already moved on, even if this person would have six of cups to you. And what I mean by that is reached out again. They can do that if that's what it is that they want. I don't see you Taurus necessarily getting upset, but 
I just see that you emotionally have moved on already, right? This is not a matter of hard feelings. And, it's, and it really isn't any kind of hard feelings towards them. It's just that you pack this up, right? Like, you don't you don't want to have to deal with the drama. And there there should be no drama. But there is drama considering the fact that you just left this person so smoothly without any kind of get back in the world or without them pushing for trying to be in a relationship with you this person is like wow maybe this person really is better than what it is that i thought let me go ahead and try to uh make something work it work with them again so that's what it is that i'm talking about but that's pretty much it comment on the video like the video subscribe